Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Let's continue the list of the best arguments I've ever heard for atheism, with argument 10, the argument of contradictions. This argument claims that God is a self-contradicting proposition, and it does this in a couple of ways. Either it claims that infinity is impossible, or it claims that omnipotence is impossible. First, infinity. Infinity is something so great that no matter how much you take away from it, there's always more. This means that you always have an infinity, regardless of how much you add to it or take away from it. This seems to contradict itself. For example, if you have a hotel with an infinite number of rooms, which is completely full, and another person comes along to stay at the hotel, what do you tell that person? Sorry, we're full? All he has to say is, well, just move each person down a room. Since there's an infinite number of people, they'll never stop being moved, and therefore I can finish my stay. It makes no sense. On top of that, suppose half of the people in the hotel left. How many people left? Well, half of infinity is still infinity, but half also remained. So from one infinity, you now have two. Even though half the people in the hotel left, the hotel is still completely full. The problem with this claim is just that there's more than one kind of infinity. I can say that something is a mathematical infinity, a countable infinity, where an infinite number of finite numbers become infinite. That's impossible, though, because no matter how long you spend counting things, they'll never really be endless. However, when we talk about infinity in terms of God's eternal nature, or in terms of his knowledge or power, we're not talking about something that's composed of limited parts. Nothing composed of limited parts can be infinite. We're talking about something that's just total and complete, without needing to be composed of anything else. So God's infinite lifespan, for example, is infinite not because he's been around for a long time, but because he's timeless and doesn't need to pass through time. He transcends time. In the same way, all of the other infinities that we apply to God, knowledge, space, power, wisdom, love, and so forth, aren't just multiplications of what we already know. They exist on a higher, less limited level, and we can't reduce them to simple arithmetic. The second argument of contradiction is an attempt to claim that omnipotence is a self-contradiction, because no one and nothing can do anything. A common argument used against God being able to do anything is phrased in the form of a question. Can God create a rock so heavy that even he can't lift it? The problem with this objection is that theists, and Catholics in particular, don't claim that God can do absolutely anything, only anything that can be done through power. If I had an infinite number of pencils, for example, I could draw for as long as I wanted without ever running out. But I couldn't build a house out of them, pencils just aren't made for that. In the same way, God's omnipotence doesn't mean that he can do anything that you can imagine, only anything that's possible. There are many things that God can't do. For example, he can't sin, or lie, or break his word. He can't demonstrate imperfection in himself because there aren't any imperfections within God to demonstrate. So in answer to the question, can God create a rock so heavy that even he can't lift it? No, he can't. Doing this would involve making himself weaker than a created thing, and as we talked about in the first season, if God weren't superior to his creation, he wouldn't have been able to create it. God can perform any task with his power, but create a rock so heavy that even God can't lift it isn't even a real task. It's just a sequence of words that contradict one another. So it makes perfect sense that God can't do this since it's contradictory, and he can't do contradictory things. However, even if you were to argue that God can do contradictory things like this, all that does is undermine the argument even further. If God can do contradictory things, then the answer to the question is this. Can God create a rock so heavy that even he can't lift it? Yes. Then can he lift it? Yes. That's a contradiction, but since you've already admitted that God can make contradictions work, there's no problem here. However, I don't think that God can make contradictions work for one simple reason. A contradiction is the existence of two truths opposed to one another at the same time. In other words, a real and existing lie. God is infinitely honest, so it's not possible for him to make lies. Therefore, God cannot make contradictions work. However, the important point is just this. The arguments claiming that God is self-contradicting don't work, because they're based on a false idea of the claims that Christianity makes about God. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.